guys, Coop here. Got an exciting little video for you today. It's going to uh, be the alligator fang knot. Uh, it's basically a, a twist off of a Solomon bar knot, cobra knot. Uh, I think it's a really awesome little knot. It adds another unique knot to your inventory. Uh, the creator of this is a friend of mine off of Facebook. His name's D-Man. I'm going to put the link to his YouTube channel and his Facebook channel down below. You guys go over and check him out. He's got some awesome new ideas. He's got some really cool knots. Uh, his YouTube channel, he's teaching people how to uh, do a bunch of nice, neat stuff. You know, he's he's got a wide range of things that he's teaching over there. Anyway, guys, you guys go over and check him out. D-Man's his name. Tell him Coop sent you. Links will be down below for his Facebook and his YouTube channel. Now, this knot's going to be a little bit different. You know, usually we have the buckle set on here right side up. Well, I like the back of this knot better than I do the front of the knot. Uh, so what I've done is I've reversed my buckles. My buckles on my jig stay the same. But the curved end... I've turned upside down and stuck in the slots. I went ahead and did my cow hitch, half hitch, lark's head, whatever you want to call it. Got my two pieces of cord spliced together. Popper in the bottom. I go up, go through the top, out through the back side. Now let's get started with this knot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this purple on the right hand side, which we're always going to be working with the tag in from the right side and we go from left side to right we go back and forth this will be your dominant cord so what we're going to do with this purple one we're going to take it and we're going to go through the core just like so guys then we're going to take the green we're going to cross over the purple under the first piece of core and out the other side should look just like that right now. Don't worry about tightening up your core. When we tighten this first knot down, that's when the core will tighten down. Now we take the green and we go around and through the loop on the purple side. That's exactly how you should look right now. Now we just slowly pull down and pull up at the same time. We, we pull it down and then we pull straight out on both cords and it'll tighten your core down and pull you all tight at the top at the same time. Now all we do, we reverse the process. Take the purple, go through the middle, out the other side. Take the green, go over the top of the purple, through the middle of the two cores, out the other side, loop it through the purple loop. should look just like that and we just tighten it up pull the green pull the purple not done I'm gonna do two more with you then we're gonna pause till we get to the end through the middle over the purple under through the middle out the other side through the purple hole. One more, then we're going to pause you guys. I want to tell you right now guys while we're starting off on this, if you've got a set of fids, it would be handy to uh, have them. When you get down close to the end of this, it's going to get a little bit uh, sticky down in there but if you don't have fids that's fine you can use forceps or pliers either one but when you get down to the bottom it's going to get real tight all right guys this will be the last one then we'll pick up at the end and uh finish this puppy off Alright guys, I think you got the hang of it. Hey 
Hey guys, I'm back with you. So let's go ahead and finish this puppy up. Now when you get down this tight, it's going to be real tight quarters down here. So we're going to have to uh, work with some fids, pliers, or forceps. We only got a couple more knots. Go over. Got a fid on this other side. Go up through the hole. And we're going to go around back through the hole. We got one more puppy to go there. Think we can squeeze it out. I normally have two fids on here guys but my purples a little short so you just have to work with it the best I can all right there's the last knot I'll pop this sucker off of here and try and tighten this down by hand And there we go. We have one alligator fang bracelet. Now, I was telling you guys earlier that I, well, I like the other side. This is the other side of it. I just like it. It's like it's a little flatter on this side. This side, there's nothing wrong with it. If you've got flat buckles, you got two bracelets in one. I just really prefer this side as opposed to the other side. But uh, let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm just going to take, flip it back over where we were doing our knotting, and I'm just going to cut and singe these. You can tuck them if you want to, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to tuck them, or I'm going to cut and singe them. There's the old ladder. mash mash lock it in there and now we'll come to this side lock it in there now do a little bit of shaping turn it over and there you go one dragon or not dragon alligator fang bracelet guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned new uh, new knot. The guy who taught me this, D-Man, link for his channel on YouTube will be down below. Link for his Facebook page will also be down below. You guys go over and run him. <clears throat> go over and check him out. Tell him Coop sent you. You guys all want to put your comments and questions down below. I'll be more than happy to answer anything you post. I appreciate your time. appreciate your support. You guys all know we've got the Facebook page up and going. Link for that will be down below. Go over and check it out. If you like what you see, hit the like button. If you don't, you just wasted a couple minutes of your time. With all that being said, my friends, old Coop's going to say, Coop out.